Hello everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Many of you might have already seen my retrofit Android tutorial series and if you have not then you should see it. In this series, I use Java but many people commented that I should create the same using Kotlin language as well. So welcome to this new series friends and in this series I will be using the Kotlin programming language. But whether we use Kotlin or Java, the backend or the server side part is always the same. So first, you need to watch the first 11 videos from this series to start this new series. In this video, I will download the same REST API code used in this series and I will configure it into my system. By doing this, those who are having trouble creating the API can see that how they can download my source code and make it work correctly. So let's start. You can see this is my source code of the REST API that I pushed into GitHub. You can get the code from here. But the first thing before downloading the code we need is we need the database. So if you create some different database with some different or little different column name, you need to make a lot of changes. So I suggest you to copy and paste. You can get the SQL query that I'm going to use to create the database in the description of this video. So please copy paste or you will end up making some mistakes. So I will copy this and you can see my XAMPP server is running. So I will go to localhost phpMyAdmin and then here first I will create a database and I will name it my app. Then create the database. Now I will go to SQL, I will paste the query and I will create the database. So the database table or database is created. Now I will download the source code of the REST API code. So I can download it from here. So download it. Now I will unzip it. And I will rename it to something simple like my API. Now I will copy it and I will go to applications. We basically need to go to the stdocs directory. I'm using Mac so I will go to applications, XAMPP and then stdocs. If you are using a Windows system you need to go to C XAMPP stdocs. So here I will paste the folder that I copied. Now we can open this in any editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code here. And then we will open the constraints.php file and we will cross check the constants. So we have localhost, the user is root, the database name is my app and we are not using any password. So everything is correct. Now as it is a composer project, we need to open terminal. So go to terminal and then here we need to run composer install and then it will install all the required dependencies and it is done. Now we can check the endpoints whether they are working or not. So the first endpoint that we have is it is create user. You see create user it is taking email password name and school as the required parameters and we are also using a basic authentication to secure the APIs and the username is Bilal Khan and the password is 123456. So to send a request we need to go to postman and then here we will send the request. So the URL is localhost slash my API and then public. You see it is asking for username and password. So we will put this URL here. It is a post request and the endpoint is create user. Then we have basic authentication. Bilal Khan 123456 and then in body we need to pass email name password and school. That's it. Now send the request and you can see the user is created successfully. 
and if we will go to the database you can see we have a new value in the users table so the API is working fine now we will create another Android application the same application that we created in this series but by using Kotlin programming language so I will start that thing from the next video meanwhile if you like this video please hit on the like button and if you think that this series is going to help you then please help me by sharing this videos to your friends and if you are not already a subscriber please subscribe to my channel and please share this video so thank you guys this is Bilal Khan signing off